welcome to another episode. In today's episode, we are going to be doing a craft video, but it's going to be a little bit of an unusual one. See this crate here behind me? This is where Mystic likes to sleep. Now, we had just her bed on the floor with her toys before, but she hasn't been sleeping as well at night. So what we decided to do is put her crate back. And dogs like crates and things like this. Um, you've probably noticed if you have a dog, sometimes they'll sleep under a desk or under the table because they like to sleep somewhere where it feels like a cave. So Mystic likes her crate and she sleeps much better when she has her crate. So we decided to put it back together and put it in the living room for her. But if you take a close look at it, guys, it's not very attractive. It's just not, it's just not. Um, it's just a big a hunk of metal in the living room and we have that blanket over so that way it gives her some privacy and it's just not very cute. Um, so we decided because it's in the living room, we want it to look nicer and more visually appealing and everything. So we decided that we are going to be making a cover for it and it's gonna be adorable by the time we're done. At least we hope it will be. And we bought the supplies yesterday and uh, yeah, so if you guys have a dog crate and you wanna be able to make it look cute, let me show you the supplies you're gonna need. So basically what we have here, because our crate is so large, is a king sheet set. And it comes with a pillowcase, the flat sheet, and the fitted sheet. And then we have two little things here because they didn't have ribbon at the store we were at. These are napkin holders. They're just like little napkin ring things that we're going to use and you'll see how we're going to use those in a minute. So all of this stuff was on sale at the store so we figured we might as well get it while it's on sale. And it's a dark purple color which matches the chair in our living room and the curtains in our living room. So that's why we chose this dark purple color. And so yeah, we found this online and we want to show you how to do it. So I'm going to take all this out and we're going to get started. So anyway, yeah, we're going to have to get Mystic out of there. She's taking a little nap right now, haha, <laughs> but we're going to have to get her out because guess what? It is time to make her crate pretty. Hey Mystic, come on, come on, get up, wake up, look at her. She doesn't want to get up, Mom. Sorry, Mystic. Yeah, we're sorry, honey. Oh, she's stretching. Sorry, honey, we'll let you go back in in a minute, okay? We got to get your crate looking pretty. Nope, can't go back in, sorry. You wanna go outside and lay down? You wanna go outside? Come on, let's let you outside. All right. It was kinda hard to do it and film it and explain it as we went along, so we decided to finish it and then tell you guys what was going on. So, yeah, Mom, can you explain it? Cause you're the one that did it. I think you'd be able to explain it better. So, there we are, guys. I'm gonna explain to you how we did it. The last step will be I'm going to take an iron and make sure you get your parents' help for any of this. But I'm going to take an iron and I'm gonna try to iron out some of the creases in the sheet. And the reason the creases are there is just because it was in the packaging. So I think this is very cute. It came together, looks like a little house, so I'm gonna show you what I did. Okay, so that part right there that looks like a curtain, that is the flat sheet which means that's the sheet that you pull over you when you go to sleep at night. The fitted sheet is the one that has this elastic here. So what I did is I put the flat sheet down first, then I put the fitted sheet on top of it. And all the extra fabric and everything is just back here pushed against the wall. I pushed the crate up against the wall. So basically, the flat sheet and all the extra fabric is just shoved in the back, which is totally fine. It works perfect. So then I took the pillowcases that came with this. There was two pillowcases, and that's what these here are. This one and that piece of fabric there, those are just pillowcases to cover the bars of the cage so that way it just looks like a little entrance there and then I draped the curtains on each side I'm gonna tweak them a little bit so I put the end of the sheet that was hanging here I gathered it up and then I pushed this napkin holder which is made looks like little pearls I pushed the napkin holder up onto there so that way it creates that gathering effect there and makes it look like it's a draping curtain see 
And then this thing on the floor here, that black thing, that is actually a placemat that's supposed to be used for the table. But I bought it because it's the perfect size to create like a little um, entranceway for Mystic to go in and out of here. So I thought that was really cute. It's just a black one because our couch is black. So we thought that would match nicely. And inside is her purple blanket she loves, a bunch of her toys, and her foam bed. So if any of you guys have dogs and you've got a crate that's just ugly, you can totally decorate them with just going to your local store and grabbing a pair of sheets and some pillowcases and you can create this. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> so there you go guys. Mystic looks so regal in there. She really likes her new bedding. So yeah, now that you've seen the before and after, which look do you like better? I know which one I do. It is this one. Way to go, mom. So yeah, if any of you guys have dog crates at home, all you gotta do is go buy some sheets and a couple pillow pieces and you too can create this look for your dog. Anyway guys, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you thought that this was a good idea to cover this crate. And be sure to subscribe. I have more videos coming and you can follow me on all of my social media in the links below in the description box. So anyway guys, I'll see you next time. And so will Mystic. Haha. <laughs> Bye guys.